Ready to see what TradeLog software can do for you? In this video tour, I will guide you through the main features of the software and show you how it's used by active traders. If you have TradeLog installed on your own computer, you can follow along with me using the sample file that was included with your installation. Let's get started. To run TradeLog, I'll double click on the desktop icon. First, I will explain TradeLog data files and account tabs. Each tax year has its own assigned trade log data file. The trade history needed for that tax year is imported and stored in that year's data file. Let's locate and open the sample 2013 tax year file that is included when you installed trade log. From the welcome screen, you can click on Open Existing File, or you can go to the File menu and choose Open. In the My Documents folder is a subfolder named TradeLog. This is the default location for storing TradeLog data files. Notice there is a file named 2013 TradeLogSample.tdf. Select that file and then click Open. Notice that this file is for the 2013 tax year and will contain trade history required for that tax year reporting. Account tabs allow you to maintain trade history from all of your brokerage accounts in one place. In this sample file, there are two separate brokerage accounts set up. One is named Trading Account. The other is named IRA Account. You can click on a specific account tab to view trade activity for only that account, or you can click on the All Accounts tab for a combined view. Next, I'll show you some key features of the trade log window. The Profit and Loss Summary Bar provides a snapshot of key data including shares or contracts open, profit or loss, commissions, last record date, and number of records. It's important to note that the Profit or Loss field is not the taxable gain or loss. I'll show you how to find that information soon. You can select different account tabs and you'll notice that the summary bar fields change to reflect the selected account. Select a specific record and notice that the shares or contracts open, profit or loss, and commission fields change to reflect the trade selected. You can select the All Accounts tab, then double click on one of the records for ticker INTU. Notice that trade log goes to the account tab where these trades are found, in this case the trading account and then isolates the INTU trades that are grouped together. The summary bar now reflects only this filtered view. The toolbar provides quick functions especially useful for controlling your view of trades. Notice how you can change the view using different buttons on the toolbar. Click on the blue All Trades button and notice any filters are removed and you are now viewing all of the trades in the Selected Account tab. I'll show you more about using the Open Trades view soon. For now, you can click on the red Closed Trades button to view all of the trades that are closed. Clicking on Date Range opens a dialog box. You can enter a custom date range such as January 1st, 2013 to May 31st, 2013 and click OK to view only the trade records that occurred in that date range or you can select a specific year in the dialog box and click OK to view the records that occurred in that year. Now click on the blue All Trades button again to clear the filtered view. We refer to the list of trade records as the grid. When you import trade history from your broker, TradeLog automatically places the records into the grid. Notice some of the features of the grid. Select the All Accounts tab. Most of the fields are self-explanatory. There is date, ticker, shares or contracts, price, commissions, and the amount of the trade record. Trades are grouped together and assigned a trade number. Notice that trades in the same group are also in the same color block. When a position is opened for the first time, it begins a trade group. If you close out of the position completely, that will usually be the last trade in the group. Notice the O or C field. This stands for Open or Closed. A trade record typically either opens a new position or closes a position. The L or S field represents long or short. For example, 
The record for trade number two in the sample file is a December 12, 2012 open long position for 20 shares of ticker GG. This was a buy of 20 shares. There is no matched close long position, which would be the sale of those 20 shares. If you scroll down to trade number nine, notice that the first record in that trade group is a January 4, 2013 open short position for 50 shares of ticker GG. This was a short sale for 50 shares. Matched to that trade is a January 7, 2013 close short position for 50 shares of GG. This is the buy to cover of 50 shares, which closed the short sale position. Are you wondering what the W represents in the first record of trade number one? The W records are wash sale deferrals attached to positions that were carried over from the previous tax year. In this case, there was a loss of $1,243.56 on 40 shares of ticker INTU that occurred in 2011. When we repurchased 60 shares of that same security on December 26, 2011, it triggered a wash sale, and therefore that loss could not be taken at that time. Since we did not close those 60 shares before the end of that tax year, the loss was deferred until the time when we finally close the position. TradeLog automatically keeps track of these wash sale deferrals and creates the W records in the next year data file. The W record in this file represents a loss connected to the shares that were purchased on the same day, in this case, December 26, 2011. TradeLog formats option contracts in a consistent and standardized format, an important feature if you trade options with more than one broker. Notice the record for trade number three in the grid is for an option. The standard format includes the underlying ticker, AMLN, the expiration day, 16, the month, February, and year, 2013. Then the strike price, $7, and if it's a call or put, in this case, a call. The type and multiplier column identifies the type of security and the multiplier. In this file, you'll see STK-1 for stocks, OPT-100 for options, MUT-1 for mutual funds, and ETF-1 for ETFs and ETNs. There are also other types and multipliers for instruments that are not in this file, like futures, mini options, and currencies. The profit or loss field is populated only on records that result in a profit or loss, such as closing records, W records, and M records. Now that you understand some basics about how TradeLog works, I want to show you what TradeLog can do for you. Let's first view Open Trades. The Open Trades view allows you to see a summary of all trades open as of a given date. In addition, you can look up current prices for the open trades in order to analyze unrealized gains and losses. On the toolbar, click the green Open Trades button to display the Open Trades view. By default, TradeLog will display open trades as of the last record date in the file. In this case, January 30th, 2014. Clicking the Year End Open Positions button allows you to view the list of positions open as of December 31st, 2013. You can also click on the Open As Of Date Selection tool and select a specific as of date that you want to view. You can copy or print this list of positions, which is especially helpful when verifying Year End Open Positions in your data file. In the Open Trades view, you can look up current prices for all positions open by clicking on the Get Current Prices button. Note that some positions may require you to enter the current price if they could not be found online. Do you trade options? TradeLog has two important functions to automate adjustments for exercised and assigned options and to close out expired option positions. Watch how TradeLog automates this. Select the Trading Account tab then under the Edit menu, choose the option Exercise Assign. Notice that there are two option contracts discovered by TradeLog that could be adjusted. Click the Exercise button in the lower right corner to adjust each position. Then, when prompted, click Yes to save the records. You'll notice that TradeLog closes the option positions to a net zero profit or loss, 
then adjust the price of the stock positions by the amount of the contracts exercised. This is what is required for proper IRS reporting. While still in the trading account tab, you can go to the edit menu and choose expire options. A dialog box will open and prompt you to select a date. TradeLog will expire any options that should be expired but are still showing open as of that date. The default date is the last date in the file, in this case January 30th, 2014. So just click OK to continue. TradeLog will isolate a list of the options to expire and will create the expiration leg of the trade. You'll notice the expiration record has a zero price. Click yes when prompted to save the records. TradeLog will then go to the Open Trades view where you can see that the expired options are no longer listed as open. You can either click on the close button to exit the Open Trades view or you can hit the escape key on the keyboard. The main reason active traders use TradeLog is to generate accurate tax reporting. With the sample TradeLog file, I'll now show you the most common tax reporting used. Watch how TradeLog generates an IRS ready Form 8949. Select the All Accounts tab so that you can run complete tax reporting. While you can run tax reports from the individual account tabs, some IRS rules require cross-account adjustments. That even includes non-taxable accounts. When you run the tax reporting from the All Accounts tab, TradeLog will make sure to adjust for all these necessary IRS rules. Now go to the Reports menu and select Form 8949. The report menu will open where you have several options to customize your report settings. For now, just leave the default settings and click the Run Report button on the upper right corner. You're prompted with a warning that some 1099B information is missing. In order to generate final tax reporting, you must enter some information from the 1099B that you receive from your broker and then complete the end tax year function in the software. For now, you can just click Yes to continue, and you'll notice that the report has a draft watermark. TradeLog will generate an IRS Ready Form 8949. As you scroll through, notice all of the trades have been listed in the appropriate sections of the form. On page 7, you'll see that TradeLog generates a summary page and instructions. This page helps you enter the correct totals on Schedule D or in your tax filing software. Page 8 is a statement explaining Form 8949 differences and adjustments. Many TradeLog users who file Form 8949 also include this statement as an attachment for the IRS. It helps to explain the specific situations that have been accounted for in your reporting. Notice at the top of the window there are some options to copy the report data, which can then be pasted into a program like Microsoft Excel. You can save a PDF or also export data formatted for TurboTax or Tax Act. The bottom of the window provides a summary section where you can see key totals. Now you can click the Close button on the toolbar or hit the Escape key on your keyboard to return to the main grid. Next I'll show you how to run a Gains and Losses report. Go to the Reports menu and choose Gains and Losses. Keeping the default settings for the report, you'll click the Run Report button in the top right. This report contains all the same taxable reporting that was on the Form 8949, but in greater detail. For example, notice how watch sale adjustments are detailed so that you can see exactly what trades triggered a watch sale, resulting in an adjustment to cost basis. The Form 8949 lacks this level of detail. This report can be used in some states for filing Schedule D for state tax returns. Otherwise, it is used for your records to provide the details of your taxable reporting. Now you'll click the Close button on the toolbar or hit the Escape key on your keyboard to return to the main grid. Finally, I'll show you how to generate a Wash Sale Details report. Go to the Reports menu and choose Wash Sale Details to run the Wash Sales Detail report. This report provides details of all wash sales in the tax year that resulted in year-end deferrals. The first page includes a summary to help you understand which securities have wash sale deferrals and the type. Notice in this sample file 
there are $1,234.15 in wash sales that are attached to positions open at year end. When those positions are finally closed, these losses may be taken, barring any additional wash sale adjustments. You'll also notice in this example that there was $192.22 in losses permanently disallowed because of an IRA trade. This loss can never be taken because of IRS rules. The remaining pages in this report show the details of the wash sale adjustments and related trades. This report is not sent to the IRS, but it is important for your records so that you have details of each wash sale that affected your tax reporting. Now you'll click the close button on the toolbar or hit the escape key on your keyboard to return to the main grid. There are other types of tax reports which TradeLog generates, but they are not applicable to this example account. You can learn more about these reports in our user guide. This has been a quick tour of the main features of TradeLog, but you can do so much more. TradeLog includes powerful editing features, performance reporting, chart reports, and a full array of filtering functions to help you drill down into your trade history and prepare the reporting you need. You can learn more about these features in our online resources and in the user guide. Many of these can be accessed by simply clicking on the Help menu in TradeLog. Are you ready to get started with your own accounts? We have an 8-step user guide which will guide you step-by-step -step in using TradeLog with your own accounts. You can get started now even if you're running the TradeLog free trial. You won't have to start over when you finally purchase and activate the software. We also have tutorial videos to help you with each of the major steps along the way. If you are ready to purchase, simply go to our online purchase page and fill out the form. If you have questions about TradeLog or you need technical support, please don't get frustrated or waste too much time, but contact us by submitting a support request. You can do this easily right from the software. Open the file you're working on, click on the Help menu, and choose the option Send Files to Support. Or you can go to our Online Support Center and click the option Online Support Request. Our support team will reply by email with the answers and instructions you need. Thank you for watching this quick tour of TradeLog software. I hope you join the thousands of active traders and tax experts who have chosen TradeLog for their trader tax needs.